welcome. What am I on? I'm doing Sagittarius, yes. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What's good, y'all? Y'all energy just got me lit. Y'all must be hyped. Because I swear my energy has been changing. As I've been doing these readings, like, i just been feeling different. The energies have just been like, one reading has been like, I'm on 10. I just feel agitated. And I go to another reading, clear my energy, go to the next reading. And the energy is just like, okay, well, they get into the bag. I feel excited. Like, you guys' energy is just like, yes, 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 yes. What's going on? Let me see. Let me see what's going on. Okay, so for my Sagittarius, y'all, let me let me let me see something really quick. Is this reading for Sagittarius going to be a high energy? Is there going to be a high energy for Sagittarius this reading? Huh. Well, I'm getting kind of like a maybe. It's going in the no direction now. But the direction that it went when it initially started turning, it's kind of like a maybe. So we're going to see. I'm just litty right now doing you guys' reading. I don't know. Let's see. What um, message? Give me an overall message for Sagittarius. Give me an overall message for Sagittarius. I just want to let everybody know. Do not come in my comment section with the foolery. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not with it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm most definitely not. Okay. If you come to my, if you come to my, uh, some of you guys got communication coming in, or you guys are getting ready to do some traveling. If you come to my uh, reading, I'm pretty sure you read the title. You know whether or not if this reading going to be for you. And once you li listen to it for at least a minute or so, you will know if this reading is for you. But for y'all, y'all little, y'all that get in that comment section and be doing the most, y'all, I don't understand the logic. The, the logic is a little off to me. Like, I'm not going to sit up there and actually take my time. If the reading does not resonate with me, which I watch quite a few different tarot readers here on YouTube. And if the message does not resonate with me, I'll simply click off and go to another reader, okay? Or that doesn't mean that I don't like that. That doesn't mean that that reading was not specifically for me. And if I want a reading that's specifically for me, I'm going to pay for a reading that's specifically for me, okay? So speaking of that, if you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, if you like how I read and this reading just was not for you, then you could book your own very you could book your book your own personal reading, okay? I'm running a special right now. My readings are normally $67. Right now they're on sale for the month of March for $44.44. And it also comes with a free question using the pendulum, okay? So you can get a yes or no question answered for free with your full detailed reading okay so i only do a certain amount of num i only do a certain amount of number of readings per day okay so book now because the slots fill quickly that information will be in the drop box below okay so let's get started this is for sagittarius okay first i gotta get it. i gotta get an overall energy because for some reason i'm just so the energy for you guys is kind of like upbeat Okay, so let's see what's going on. Give me an overall, give me an overall message for Sagittarius. Okay, and the complete opposite came out. And you guys are tired. I feel like there's a separation too. Um, some of you guys are feeling like there's a separation for some of you. Okay. Some of y'all feel overwhelmed, okay? Feel like you're doing too much. We got the Ten of Wands, okay? Which is feeling burdened. Page of Swords. 
okay? There's spying, communication, but then we got that Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Are y'all spying on somebody? Or you spend a lot of time talking to this Queen of Cups. You're communicating with someone that's very, um, that's very loving, caring, you know, nurturing. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They don't have to be a water sign, but I feel like you are spying or watching someone, okay? You're watching someone all the time, okay? Why is the Four of Swords here? This is when you're thinking, okay? You're taking a break. Let's see. Why is the Four of Swords here? Okay. You're tired of, of worrying, okay? You're trying, to, you're trying to keep from worrying, okay? You're tired of all the stress and the worry. We got the moon in reverse. Pisces is energy. There could be some type of secrets. You could be hiding something. But with that nine of swords here, this could makes me feel like these are your emotions, okay? Some of you guys can't sleep at night. Some of you guys are possibly having, like, you know, anxiety issues as well. Why is the King of Wands here? This is you guys' energy. Why is the King of Wands here? King of Cups. There's that Cups energy again. And the Page of Wands, okay? I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Magician. So presently, this is past energy. You guys may have felt a little drained, okay? Um, I feel like... You are trying to manifest something here. You're working towards something. You're trying to manifest something to become more independent, to be more... Uh, I feel like you're working on some type of goal, okay? It could definitely have something to do in regards with money, finances, or something that you're trying to get off the ground with that page of pentacles, okay? Um, something that you're working towards. You're trying to manifest, okay? You're trying to manifest something here. Four of Wands... This is the coming together card. And this is the marriage card, the family card. We got the two of pentacles, okay? So some of you are juggling. Some of you are juggling like two families. Some of you are just like doing like doing a lot, got a lot going on. Or you're keeping busy, okay? Why is the two of pentacles here? Why is the two of pentacles here? Yeah, the magician. Okay, so yeah, you feel like you have to make a decision moving ahead. I feel like, oh, we got the um, the devil and the ace of cups. There's a little bit of an obsession here, okay? There's a little bit of an obsession here is what I'm getting. Somebody's a little obsessed here. Um, but I feel like you feel like you got to make some type of choice. This change that you're contemplating on making is a big change. You got Ten of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. This is a big change. But I feel like someone here is like doing a little bit of sneaky business with this uh, Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. A little bit of sneaking around, okay? Um, you've been holding this in, but I feel like you want some type of ending. But this ending that you want is going to be very, like, a catastrophe. Like, you feel like you're trying to avoid it being... Um, like a big, you're trying to avoid the backlash that comes behind it. Okay. But I feel like there's an opportunity here on the table for you that you've been contemplating on that you want to go after. Okay. We got the strength card, Leo's, Leo's energy and the queen of cups, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. You got to make your mind up about something, okay? So you got a choice to make, okay? Mm. Mm. Interesting. Quite interesting. Let's see what the angels have to say. You guys, this message was very cut and dry. All right, so let's see. What message is there for Sagittarius? 
That's maybe why my energy piped up because y'all doing a lot of y'all got some action going on. Like y'all, y'all doing something. Like y'all got a lot of moving around. Y'all doing a lot. Okay, so we got peaceful resolution. So meditate. Okay, it's time to meditate. It's time to meditate. Okay. This meditation is gonna bring you the answers that you need. So within the next few weeks, okay. I feel like you need to kind of like meditate to get the answers that you need to get this peaceful resolution. Because I feel like a resolution is on the table and it's, it's a peaceful resolution at that. Give me another message. Okay. We got compromise. Okay. All right. So you're going to have to compromise. Okay. Something here is not the right time. Something here is not the right time. So there's something here that you have to compromise on, okay? Someone is going to be, like, asking for some type of forgiveness. Is they Are they going to forgive you? Yes, okay? Give me one more card. We got listen to your intuition. Okay, so communicate clearly what it is that you want. This this situation could be um, could be very successful for you if you communicate communicate effectively what it is that you want. Okay, there is a big opportunity on the table for you to choose a new direction. Okay, a year from now is what I'm getting here. A year from now, okay ask for help from others but there is a chance for a big happy change for you okay all right so i feel like you guys got an opportunity on the table um but there needs to be a little bit of compromising for this to work okay um it's definitely i'm getting don't stop okay i saw that twice don't stop I feel like that um, if you follow your intuition, you could definitely get some type of peaceful resolution in a situation. But compromising is going to be key and communicating clearly what it is that you want, okay? So that you get what you want, all right? So if this message was helpful, guys, y'all let me know what's up in the comment section below. And if you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, let me know. You guys can reach out to me via, via email or I can get you booked in for a reading, all right? Until next time, my loves. Bye. Ciao for now.